Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my October favorites. These are just products that I've really been loving in the month of October. And I'm just really, really excited to get into November because it is one of my favorite months. Me and Danny make four years being married on November 22nd. So I'm excited for November. I just love November so much and Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday of all time. By the way, if you are wondering what the heck that is in the reflection, Cornelius um, is sitting right behind me. He like loves to be on my desk now more than ever because Celine drives him nuts. So he likes to hide out on my desk and he needs a massive haircut. I can't even deal. Okay, enough of the shisha and let's get started. So I want to give a quick mention to these LA Girl Glide Gel Liners. They're not like gel like in the pot. They're just in like pencil form. These things are incredible. You can get LA Girl at drugstore.com. They are really, really creamy. And when I tell you like pigmented, so much pigment comes off of this. I was so impressed because these are insanely inexpensive. I have a bunch of colors, but I really like these. This one is very black. It's just a black color. This one is in the shade Aquatic. It's a really cool like ocean light blue. This one is amazing. It is called Gypsy Teal and then this one is just a regular uh, brown but it's called Deep Bronze. It's what I have on my waterline. It's just like a really warm brown color. If you have been looking for the kind of liner that actually goes on your waterline, I highly recommend these because they're just so opaque that you only need one swipe on your waterline and they're there and once they dry, like they are set. They stay on for a really long time. They are super long lasting. So I've just been highly, highly impressed with these. So I wanted to mention them because I have been using them a lot, especially the colorful ones. They have a bunch of different colors. So my next favorite, I have to give a huge shout out to Mrs. Lola Lynn here on YouTube because she is the one that convinced me to buy it. Well, she had it like in a Friday favorites video and I went out and bought it immediately. It is Max Cheeky Bronze. This is a mineralized skin finish and this is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. I use this as a blush topper or as a blush just on its own. It's an MSF so you know it's like it has a sheen to it. It's not matte by any means, but it gives you the most beautiful color to your cheeks. And I feel like this works year round because it's warm, so it would be perfect for the fall time. But then it has like that bronze like sheen to it, so it'd also be really pretty in the summertime. I love this so much because it just makes your face glow. I have been using this a lot. You haven't really seen it in my videos at all actually, but I have been using this more like day to day. Whenever I just throw on mascara, put a little bit of bronzer, and then I'll just dust this on my cheeks because I don't want to do a blush and a highlight. This is both in one and it is amazing. Perfect for every day. I love this so much. I definitely recommend checking out Cheeky Bronze because it gives such a nice goddess look to your skin. Like you look like you're glowing and I love it so much. Oh my God. Okay, so my next product is a bronzer and I want to mention this because I feel like, I don't know. It's from Jane Cosmetics and it is their bronzer in the shade Inspire. And it's a great drugstore bronzer, especially if you have fair skin. That's why I wanted to mention it, because it is perfect for fair skin. Some bronzers are just a little bit too deep, a little bit too dark, or um, way too orange. And this one isn't. The sun is gone. Cornelius, dude, your hair is embarrassing. Go brush it. And what's extra great about this, besides the color, is the formula. It has like an amazing formula. It's like impossible to go wrong with this bronzer because it just blends so nicely. Okay guys, I'm just gonna roll with it. The sun has been in and out, so like, let's ignore that. So yeah, they have a bunch of different colors, but I really like this one. I think it has a really great formula and is perfect for fair skin. Um, my next product is also a bronzer, and it's a bronzer that I have been using every day since I got it, and it is the Girl Lactic Bronzer in the shade Casablanca. Um, I have just been recently introduced to Girl Lactic, and I feel like everybody and a mama loves Girl Lactic, and I've never really tried anything from it. But this bronzer is incredible. It is a little bit more on the warm side, I guess, maybe. It's the bronzer I'm wearing on my face right now, and I love it because of the color. I don't know. It's really nice, and the same with this. Um, it has an amazing formula. It is so pigmented, but just like sweeping your brush across your cheeks makes it blend so nicely. If that makes any sense? I don't know. Don't. Don't. 
Oh, no, you didn't. I swear, I swear, it looks like he wants to get off, but when I tell him to get off, he doesn't want to get off. And then he like, and then he scratches at my legs and begs me to take him up here. Uh, let's see, let's try. Okay, now you want to get back up? No, no, Cornelius, no. Okay, so this next product was a gift from my friend Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polish. She sent me like a box full of her favorite makeup and her favorite things. And it is the Laneige Water Bank Serum. I have been wanting to try this serum since I heard her rave about it, but they don't sell Laneige at my Target. You can get this brand at Target, but unfortunately the Target by my house doesn't have Laneige products. But it's just a serum, but it's a great serum. I haven't used my L'Oreal Texture Perfector ever since I got this. It says 24 hour old ultra hydrating serum infused with skin perfecting optimal mineral water. It's amazing. It makes my skin super incredibly soft. I use this at nighttime before my moisturizer and I use it when I wake up in the morning and it just makes my skin kind of feel like silk if that makes any sense. It just makes it nice and smooth to the touch. I have a problem with like texture and this has really been um, working with that more than my texture perfecter honestly. So I have discovered my absolute favorite drugstore lipstick formula of life of life and it is the Maybelline creamy matte lipsticks I honestly think that these are the best drugstore lipsticks I have ever used and that's saying a lot because I love my wet and wild mega lasts and I love my Milani lipsticks but these are my favorite even if you're not into matte lipsticks because um, they are creamy mattes so they feel like velvet on the lips they're not drying whatsoever it's not a matte matte formula I don't know how to explain it. You just have to buy one and try it out for yourself. The best formula ever because they're hydrating, but they have a nice satin finish. Not super drying and matte. I don't know. I keep repeating myself, but they are amazing. I'm going to buy each and every one of them. I'm going to have the entire collection. I will. My absolute favorite one is Divine Wine. I have already done a tutorial using this. It's just a deep brick red, and I love reds like this to have just a tiny bit of brown. Um, amazing. Just amazing. Simply amazing. I love them. I highly recommend them. They are, I'm overwhelmed with excitement. So now for lip products that aren't at the drugstore and are nowhere near as cheap. They are the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. Okay guys, wait, wait before you exit out this video. These things are so worth the hype. I know everybody says that in every video, but I cannot tell you how good these are. Nicole from Young, Wild and Polish, when she sent me that package, she did send me two of them. She sent me Anita and Charlotte. And if it wasn't for her, I would have never tried these. Because these suckers are like $32 each, which is ridiculous. The most I pay for my lipstick is like Too Faced that I think is like $18. That's the most I've ever paid for a lipstick. $32 is, ugh, girl, that's expensive, okay? But then when she sent me two of them in my package and I tried them on, and I wore it from the morning all the way till the nighttime, and they didn't budge and they looked just as perfect. I was like, what? And I went out and bought a third one like the very next day. If you're ever gonna take my advice on anything, take my advice on this. Don't waste your money on YSL, Chanel, Tom Ford. None of those lipsticks will compare to this. I don't, you guys know I don't have luxury makeup. Like when have I ever showed a Chanel product or a Tom Ford product? or YSL, or Giorgio Armani. You know that that's not who I am. That's not the kind of makeup I go for. So if you're gonna splurge on a lipstick, it's gonna be the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. Make sure they're the Audacious ones, cause I don't like their regular lipsticks. I've never been a fan. The Audacious ones, amazing. They are super incredibly, like ridiculously, I can't believe it, pigmented, that you only need one swipe. You go boom and boom. And that's all you need. That's technically two swipes. One for the bottom and one for the top and that's all you need. The pigment packs an incredible punch and they're a nice formula. It's not the kind of formula that is too much of anything. It's not too creamy, it's not too matte, it's not, you know, it's that perfect formula that you wish every lipstick was. Does that make any sense? Amazing and they last all day. Sometimes I'm like, why do people buy those YSL lipsticks? I feel like they just slip right off. It's like, why, why spend the money if it doesn't last? These last all day. I'm actually wearing Charlotte right now on top of a purple lip liner. Um, they're just amazing. Maybe I should tell you which ones I have, right? Okay, yeah. This is Charlotte, the one I'm wearing. It's just a really pretty red, but it has like a berry purplish, not purple, but like 
it's a different kind of red if that makes sense um, and then I have Anita here which is a perfect everyday mauve shade really really beautiful like beautiful so good and then my absolute favorite one and it is called Raquel it's the perfect pinky nude like I'm gonna say it this is my favorite lipstick of all time out of the million lipsticks I have because I'm a lip junkie out of all the lipsticks I own even my MAC ones that I hold dear to my heart Raquel is the best lipstick I've ever purchased. Okay, so my next favorite are a certain brand of brushes and they are the Zoeva brushes. They're super dirty because I used them today for my makeup. I actually have to wash my brushes today. But anyway, I am so impressed by Zoeva. They are all that and a bag of chips, my friend. These are probably one of the best quality brushes I've ever used in my life. Um, these were sent to me. They sent me like a tiny little bag with a few of their face brushes. Um, the only eye brush I have is this one. This is the 142 Concealer Buffer. Well, I guess this is a face brush then. They sent me face brushes. I use it for my eyes. This is the perfect brush to use for like MAC paint pots or Maybelline color tattoos because you just dunk it in and then apply it to your to your lids. And this type of brush doesn't soak up the product. I know Sigma has a brush just like this, but whatever. And then I am crazy about this 101 Luxe Face Definer Brush. It's amazing. I use it to contour. I use it to put on my blush. I could even put on my highlight with this, even though it's really big, if I want a super glowy cheek. Oh, hello, son. Welcome back. Please, will you stay this time? And then this one that I was pleasantly surprised with. It is the 109 Luxe Face Paint, and I use this to contour. This gives you such a sharp, chiseled contour. Um, and I really, really wanted it because everybody loves that NARS Eda brush, but for some reason now it's like $60. And Mama is not going to pay no $60 for a single brush. That's ridiculous. I'm, I won't pay for it. I won't. Um, so I have been using this one, and I really, really like it. If you want super Kim Kardashian cheekbones, here you go. And honestly, I'm going to probably get a lot of hate for it. Really, I am. But I'm kind of over Sigma. Even my friend was telling me the other day that she hasn't had her Sigma brushes for that long and they're already shedding. And if you watch um, Glam Life Guru here on YouTube, Tati, I want to call her Tati so bad, like the, the mammy in me wants to refer to her as Tati. But I won't. She recently did a makeup graveyard um, talking about all her brushes and she got rid of a lot of Sigma ones. She even said that they don't last as well. They're great brushes, they just don't last as long. And I haven't had these for that long, obviously, I don't know if they fall apart easily, but I've just heard really good things about them. And so far, so good. I gotta be honest, I probably will not purchase another Sigma brush ever in my life. Except maybe the E40, because I really love that brush, like I love that brush. But I'm kind of over Sigma, I personally think it's overrated. I don't know, I know that sounds really mean, but... Anyway, you guys had been asking about my love for Zoeva, if I think it's good, and I do think it's good. I do believe they shipped to the United States. I was actually putting some stuff in my cart because I want to buy a bunch of their eye brushes. Um, and I just think that you have to like convert the euros into do US dollars or something if you're in the United States. I don't know how, exactly how that works, but I'm going to figure it out because I'm going to go buy some eye brushes soon. So my next products I was actually pleasantly surprised with. And they are the LA Colors Mineral Blushes. You can get LA Colors at the dollar store, I'm pretty sure. And these are actually so good. I don't know if they have any other blushes, but their mineral blushes are really nice. I'm wearing this one right now on my cheeks in Naturel. And I love it. And I also really love this one in Sheer Bliss. It's like a pink with like some golden undertones. When you put it on your cheek, it has a little bit of shimmer. This one's matte. I love them. They don't last like a super long time like Amazonian clay blushes, but they are super pigmented and really nice and they don't feel cheap and they're just a couple of dollars each. I'm so impressed. Even if you're not on a budget, I definitely recommend checking out the LA Colors Mineral Blushes because I really, really like them. So I wanted to mention them because I have been using Natural like a lot, like almost every day. Like it's really good. Oh my God, this video is gonna be so long. Have mercy on my soul, why? Okay, let's talk falsies. I love these so much. These are the House of Lashes lashes in the style Bambi. These are the lashes I'm wearing right now. They're very dramatic, well, dramatic for me, but they're the kind of lashes that are kind of wispy and they're kind of in sections, so they look like just little chunks stipping, sticking out. Stipping, what, no. And I personally love styles like that, like a doll. Like they look like doll lashes. I love this brand for eyelashes, honestly. They're a little bit more expensive than like Ardell, but they're nowhere near as expensive as like Velour or anything like that. I 
I don't, I'm not a fan of velour that much, really. But these are really nice, and you can actually get three for $22 when you go on the website. I love it, I recommend it. They hold up really well. I love my Ardell Wispies, they're probably one of my favorite lashes ever, but I think the House of Lashes lasts a little bit longer. I can get more uses out of the House of Lashes lashes. They're really good quality, guys. Like, I swear they're amazing. So I bought a pack of three, that's why they're in here and they're also on my eyes. I've been giving my eyes a break from falsies, to be honest. I haven't been wearing them all that much recently, but when I do, I've been wearing these. So I wanted to mention them because I think they're so beautiful. MAC has ones that are really similar. I saw Nicole Guerrero wearing something like this in one of her, in one of her videos. And when I went to MAC and I asked for them and then she told me how much they were, I was like, oh no, forget it, I don't want it. Two spins. So I got these instead and I love them. I like House of Lashes so much more than MAC lashes, honestly. Okay, so my next favorite is a nail polish and I rarely ever talk about nail polish on my channel But I always bust this color out during this time of year and it is this guy It's the one I'm wearing right now, and it is my private jet by OPI I don't think this came out in a collection. I'm pretty sure this is like always available. I could be wrong I saw it the other day on Amazon for less than seven dollars. So I mean I Love this color. This is definitely in my top three favorite OPI nail polishes of all time. I just think it's so unique. It reminds me of a galaxy. I guess that's why it's called my private jet. It's like a charcoal color that in the light it shines off like a bronzy red. Like when you turn the bottle, there's like red, a red sheen, a gold, a red, kind of a green sheen in there somewhere. And then it has little tiny silver flecks everywhere. But they're the kind of flecks that really show up on your nails. Like they are all over your nails. I wear it a lot during this time of year and I've had it on my nails for a couple of days so I thought I should mention it. If you can get your hands on this polish, I highly recommend it. Okay, just two more products. I thought I would mention a perfume. It is the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy in the Gold Couture. Gold Couture. I have the original Viva La Juicy, but this is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Does that make sense? Okay. And I love this. This smells really similar to the original, but with a sexy twist. I don't know. I love Viva La Juicy like for the summertime because it's light and fresh and fun, but this one is a little bit sexier, so I have been wearing it a lot during this time of year. I love the bottle. The only thing I don't like is that I can't see, I mean, how far it's gone down, but I guess eventually I'll keep clicking and nothing will come out, and that'll be a sign that it's empty. But I love it. It smells so nice, and I think it's a pretty new fragrance. I just love how it smells. If you like Viva La Juicy, then you'll really like this. It's more nighttime Viva La Juicy. I'm not a fan of any of the other Juicy Couture fragrances, only the Viva La Juicy ones. So yes, I love it so good. Oh. Okay, and then my last favorite is this. This is the best candle ever. <sighs> okay, so my favorite Bath and Body Works candle ever is Mahogany Teakwood. Um, but I really, and Coconut Leaves. I love that one too for the summer. But I have been so impressed by this one. The lady at Bath & Body Works pointed this out and she was like, oh, try Marshmallow, this is called Marshmallow Fireside, by the way. I never said that, but. She was like, try Marshmallow Fireside. And I was like, mm, I don't like really sweet candles. I've never, I don't like that vanilla scent. Like when people like, like sugary cupcake, I never go for candles like that. I like a little bit more sultry scents, but this isn't super sweet. There's something different about it. I love it. It says here, a sweet, a sweet toasty end to a long cold day. Toasted marshmallows and sumptuous vanilla cream blend with the comforting aroma of rich smoldering woods. And that's what I think really got me. Is because, yeah, it has like the marshmallowy and the vanilla scent, but there's something like deep about it too. Like I guess the smoldering woods doesn't make it sweet, overpowering or anything like that. And I swear, my entire room I burn this a little bit. Very strong in a good way and I swear I walk into this room and I'm like Oh, smells like Christmas in here. I know I'm super early on the Christmas candles but I just couldn't pass it up. When I put my nose to this I was like I'm buying you. So I definitely recommend checking these out. I am all for the Bath & Body Work hype because they're amazing. I do wait until they're two for 22 because one by itself is $22.50, and that's way too much for a candle. But when they're on sale for two for $22, they are definitely worth it. Guys, I love this. I keep burning it. Look, I'm almost done, and I've had it not that long.
Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were all the products I have been really, really loving this month. This video is really long. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below of one product that you have been crazy about this month and maybe I'll check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, did I already say that? Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.